This one, when I put it on, it's perfect. Hello, this video is geared towards machine embroidery for beginners. I'm using my brother embroidery machine and we're going to embroider a neckline design. So if you're a beginner and you love to embroider sweatshirts, me, then stick around. I'm going to show you how to design the neckline of it. I'm in my Embrilliance Essentials software and I'm using the Roman font and my hoop size is a four by six. And so I've just typed it out right here and over to the right, you'll see this little area right here. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to change the radius right here to 138. So I have it right there on my screen, 138 for the radius. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change the degrees to 75 degrees. So you can see it has that slight curve and I'm just going to center it in my hoop. And I'm gonna move the seven up just a tiny, tiny bit. So that looks good right here. But what we need to do now is print it so that we can test it out. It's going to print with those cross lines. And I'm also going to print a mirror image. So I'm going to print two images, one going the right way and then one that's going to flip. So I've cut it out and I've got the placement right. It actually looks really good. And so I'm just going to tape it in place and then I'm going to turn it inside out and I'm going to cut out the mirror image and tape that one in place. In order for me to find the exact placement, I'm going to put a pin in that crosshair on the front side and I'm going to match it up with the cross line on this side. So now I know that they match up perfectly. Then I'm going to put my stabilizer over it and I'm going to draw my cross lines. Then I removed the needle and I'm going to go ahead and iron it in place. And then I'm just going to cut that excess that's hanging over the neckline so that it's nice and clean. And now I'm just drawing the class. Now I'm just drawing the cross lines on my hoop and I'm going to get those matched up. So now all you need to do right now, because it might be confusing, but all you need to do is keep it simple and we're just going to match up the cross lines. I use a spray and bond adhesive that I purchased off of Amazon. Okay, now you can see that the cross lines match and so we do have it positioned correctly. And so I'm just gonna verify, I stuck my pin in there in the center and it's right in alignment. So now I'm gonna come over here to my machine and make sure you keep that printed so that you don't get the placement wrong. See how the image matches on my screen and on my shirt. If you are enjoying this video so far, make sure that you give me a like and you can also subscribe to my channel and keep watching. Thank you. Okay, everything looks good. I got my thread in, I've got it locked in place. I'm gonna say a little prayer and then we can get started.
Now, while that is stitching out, I also want to point out, I did make this sweatshirt right here. I designed it in my Brilliance software, uh, my Brilliance Essential software, and I do have a video on this one as well. You can click the link up above and see how I made these ones. And I, if you are watching and you don't embroider, I do have this for sale in my Etsy shop, so I can make you one as well. Oh my gosh, you guys, this turned out so good. This t-shirt is actually for my husband. Leave me a comment if you know what 70 times 7 means. I just got to talk to you for a minute before we start this. I'm going to put my stabilizer on, but I'm doing the curved neckline and it's kind of really tricky, but I did practice. So I practice on this sheet where I cut out like a fake uh, neckline and that one turned out really well. Then I did it on a sweatshirt and it turned out crooked, but then I tried it again on this one and I really like it. And so we're going to replicate it on this one. I hope you like my sweatshirt. And I'm making the letters come a little bit slightly down, just a little bit further. And I'm hoping this works. You guys, doing a curved neckline is kind of tricky, but I think with practice, 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 it'll be a breeze. So hopefully you stay with me to the end. There's no reason it shouldn't turn out okay. So this is what it looks like so far. We can't really tell. Here's the back. And if this works out, stay till the end. I'm gonna share with you some tips that I did to make this work out. I'll go ahead and speed up the video. Okay, you guys, it turned out perfect. Look at the placement of that. It turned out perfect. I wanted it to come down a little bit so it wasn't so far off the shoulder. Let me show you right here. So see, this one is like kind of clear up there. This one, when I put it on, it's So I've just been getting a lot of requests on doing the neckline embroidery. And so that's why I decided to put out a video. Let me know if you found this helpful at all, if you have any questions. So thank you so much for watching. And until next time, happy stitching. Bye guys.